We are fuckered up, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Well, I was got his. I was gonna wear my sunglasses. Dude, too, I got honestly. these at the dispensary today when I went. <laughs> I was really I was standing in line. I gave my ID, got the ticket before he buzzes the door to get in. I'm the first one almost to get in, waiting on somebody to come out. Guy from Canna Punch is there. Oh, okay, their Canna yeah. Punch salesman yeah. rep guy is there, and uh, he's setting up a big old six foot banner. Got boxes of stuff. Come starts handing out these sunglasses. Say you want some free sunglasses? Say can of punch on them? I said, fuck yeah, oh, I do. Yeah, fuck it. That's a, that's a good little pair. I thought you'd never <laughs> ask, little... <laughs> is what I said. All right, yeah. everybody, we back. <laughs> we back. No, we not back. This is the first one. I'm going to be real <laughs> with you guys. We just recorded one. It's a test run because I'm nervous. We're all nervous. <laughs> well. This is the first podcast out of the mud. Tyler Monson. <laughs> it's my new shit. Out of the mud. Why is it called Out of the Mud? It's called Out of the Mud because I want to answer this without getting all philosophical. Um, basically, get kind of philosophical. I, most people who know me know that I was really into making music for a mm-hmm. long time. Kind of slowly started to fade away, lost some interest. Right. Went through life, you know? Yeah. Your early 20s are really hard. Um music just it just felt weird and forced yeah and then the past like six months i've been kind of searching for something new but i have not known what it is for a while i was like oh i'm gonna learn guitar and i was like oh i'm gonna start just making beats and not right. even doing right. anything right. on the mic right and now it's then one day <laughs> oh, sasha <laughs> what's up girl sasha um one day i was like Dude, like, I love just sitting down. Have you ever just gone and got a beer with one of your good friends and you just talk? Yeah. Like, you have the realest talk yeah. for an hour. <laughs> and you just, you just feel so refreshed. It's almost like a, a like weight, a, yeah, like a weight a off your shoulders. Session. Yeah, weight off your shoulders, man. I was like, I love people. I wish I had an outlet to meet more people mm-hmm. and, like, really meet people, not just like, yo, what hey, what's like, up? what are you up to? Yeah. It's more like, yo, man, like, what do you want to do with your life? Like, right. what what makes you happy? Right, right. Because I I really get off on conversations like that. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? I've felt stuck in the mud the past couple months, not doing anything. I'm not the type of person who can just like go to work, mm-hmm. have my friendships, which are really dope. But I I always need like an outlet, mm-hmm. like yeah, some I sort think, of creative outlet oh, yeah. to most people create do. something. Right. Um, so I was like, I'm going to start a podcast and it's going to be called Out of the Mud because this gets me out of the mud, making something that I f- feel like I don't know if anybody will benefit from this but me, but I know I'm going to benefit from doing this. Right. So I got Mark Collins on the mic, hey. one of my best friends, long time, really good friends, and uh, another one of my really good <laughs> friends, Alfred Spatz, a.k.a. Toast, uh, Y.O., two two. Two dudes that I did music with early on, um, and we've—I feel like once you do music with people, you have like an a bond that you can't explain. Right. Like we have really? been. Really? No, you're right. Though. Not even you're just right. like the recording music aspect, but like, um, I just have different respect for you guys right. than I feel like people would that haven't done this. And and I think that recording music. Like, because that's, that's all we did. Like we, before we like started really hanging out, we started really hanging out after we recorded music for like a 40s few years. on the lawn, boy. Yeah, 40s oh, on the shit. lawn. But, you know, <laughs> after we started, after we were recording music for, oh, for a couple years. that fucking song, dude. And I think that recording, all those recording sessions and all those songs and all those different verses that we heard each other do, let us know about the type of people that we were. You know, yeah. Um, that's how we got to know each other. Like I remember, I remember. Yeah, like forties on the lawn was the first. Well, and even before that, me and Mark 
did right. a song easy. called Easy. Mm-hmm. And oh, actually, that song is so good. And actually, <laughs> that I, song was so good. And that's, yeah. Monte remember, Carlo. Remember, you know, when we were talking, you know, remember we were talking about how Mark has this vibe, uh-huh. right? This riding, jamming vibe. It's just easy. And it's easy. we came up with this song. And actually, I just got booked this year, like, like a month ago, even. On on the Brewfest night at what's called in my city Fridays on the Plaza, which is a big concert series. I saw that. Yeah, which was yeah. a big concert series that we do in Cheyenne, Wyoming, right? Yeah. And they booked me on it. First hip hop act to be on this this thing. And you got to think Cheyenne, Wyoming. If you're not from there, people think we're all cowboys. It's you know it's a it's a place where hip hop cowboy music, state. It's a cowboy <laughs> state. Hip hop music is definitely oppressed there. Um, so they booked me, you know, first hip hop artist to be on this thing. And, uh, I'm like, man, what kind, I'm going back in my mind through all the different songs that I've done. What songs will appeal to these Wyoming people? Which, Y.O. is like the only dude I know who will go through his whole catalog. He will. Like yeah, if me and you were going to do a show, I'd think of the last five songs. Oh, like, easily, <laughs> easily. Y.O.'s like, I've got 300 songs. <laughs> well, because you, I, I feel like I have a diversity that like can, can go to like these different audiences, you mm-hmm. know? And and so I'm like, man, what do I got to do to 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 play to these these Wyoming people, you know, who aren't really used to hip hop, right? And Easy was the first song that came to my mind. <laughs> because should have called me, I would have been there. Because, uh, and, dude, I'll tell you what though, <laughs> if I've learned anything, you know who's the most expensive act to booked, Mark Collins. <laughs> <laughs> it, he could be your best friend he needs a check to right? make an check. appearance right? on stage and, and no but easy <laughs> came to my, dude easy came I really to my do. mind <laughs> he needs like a bottle of Henny in the back. Like, I got a whole list, leaf. man. I got a he whole needs, list. He needs a blunt. Like some canes, right. like chicken nuggets. Like. Extra sauce, dude. Don't hold out um, on that but, fucking sauce. But no, easy came to my mind, Mark. <laughs> and and the reason it did was because just it was like it was like, man, the beat is like it's easy. It's jamming. It's jamming for any 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 kind of people. And like the verses were like very like straight hip hop nothing too savage or yeah. raw but just good good verses and good yeah. lines and you know the beginning with the pool party yeah, like sounds yeah. and the stuff pool party man and yeah and i, I had a live drum. i don't e- i haven't listened to that song in so long i don't even remember what it sounds it's like i funny. had a live ver- i had a live drummer with it oh really yeah. nice and i have video of it but nice. it, they, it went over so well he whole, did, it. I, I did, did it i did it i did it oh, at that wow. night at the, it was the first song i did I saw it, I believe it was on Snapchat. Mm-hmm. I saw that. Mark and I sees heard some it. random dude doing his verse on stage. He's <laughs> I, like, and I did do your verse. I did do your For verse, real. Mark, because I, I didn't. Oh, I, you did? I did do your verse because I don't have a you chopped need a up cut. version. Oh, no, I got you. I got you. I don't have a chopped up version. It was just the whole song, and I didn't yeah. want to, like, I didn't have time to, like, send it to somebody and be like, yeah, hey, no, take this out. And I was like, man, I, I know he won't mind. I, I, I'm just, I, I'm not. <laughs> I do it. No, I don't do it justice because you are you, man. You are you, and that. I feel. But I rapped. I rapped it, and but they loved the song. That's they cute. loved the song, and whether it was me or you rapping it, the words yeah. were yours, and and the vibe of the song was yours. Did you give him a shout out? Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. Really? I said. Shout out to I was like, man, man, I have a verse in this song that I don't rap. My buddy Mark Collins, I, I you know, he, I, I didn't say he couldn't be here tonight. I was more like, you know, I. Didn't really ask, have time. He was to too see, expensive. Didn't really, have, <laughs> didn't really have time to see if he could be here tonight. But um, the second verse is his, and, yeah. and and I even did that with Rob. He's got a verse on Word. one of the songs from MDMA that I played that night. Yo, I shouted him out as well. But. I'm gonna I, real quick. I want to say, um, I feel like the people who will listen to this all are people who probably are listening to it because they know us from like the music days, right? Like, yeah, us yeah. all doing music, doing shows, stuff like that. Yeah. I want to ask you two, what is the biggest lesson? Like, it doesn't have to be specific music, but, like, what is the biggest life lesson that you have learned that you wouldn't have learned if you weren't doing music? Like, what is trying to, I don't want to say make it, but making music and trying to, like, blossom as, like, an independent artist. Mm -hmm. Like, what is the biggest lesson or, like, takeaway that you've learned 
from music right. that you feel like you definitely wouldn't have picked up on if you weren't doing music? Mm. And I'll answer too after yeah. you guys go. That's a hard question <clears throat> well, that I've thought about. So if you guys don't have yeah. an answer right off the well, bat. Well, for me, it, uh, my st- mine is that, and, and it's probably even at the even before or the moment I started doing music, um, is that I I knew I wanted to do it. And I knew that it was going to be a huge risk and people were probably going to hate on it. And, and to me, it was like, man, am I going to wake up in my bed 20, 30, 40 years from now, look over my wife and my kids who I will. You How know, long I, ago is this? How old were you when you like were thinking uh, geez, about it? I was, so I recorded my first song just for fun at 19 years old. And I was like two years ago. <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll go with two. <laughs> anyway, uh, at that moment in time, something hit me, and it was like, you need to keep doing hip hop music. I don't care what the fuck it takes. I don't care what you have to How do. How bad make, was your make. first couple songs? Pretty bad quality. Audio. How did you record them? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we were, uh, my my buddy my buddy and I, my buddy Glenn and I, we we. He had, I mean, talk like a talking microphone, like it sits on like a, like a gaming mic, but yeah. like the most basic one that Xbox ever came out with. Mm-hmm. You recorded it on like a gaming like, like headset, headset. <laughs> like like a like just the skinny fucking like. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yes, bro. Dude, that's bad. Like I thought mine was and, bad. In a cracked, you know, in a cracked, I had a pretty bad in a cracked bro. version of Adobe Audition. Dang. That's and nuts. that's how I recorded. That's how I recorded my first two mixtapes coming out of nowhere. Or no, uh, headphones too loud and coming out of nowhere. So like you were hometown part one. Hometown one. I made that way. So yeah. you were what got like your lesson. You were like, I need to do something or I'm gonna regret. It was regret. more of like it was like what it was like. I don't want to wake up one day and be like, man, I wish I would have done that. What if? What if? And be miserable that way. And probably miserable up yeah. until that time. Until I look at my wife and my family and what I've done with my life and like, God, what did I do? Yeah. You know? You don't want to miss that window. Yeah. And 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 even if I don't make it, because it's not over and I, I'm still going to make a lot of music. And even if I don't make it, I'm not. I'm never going to have that, that You question, don't have to worry that about that. That miserable, like, for the rest of my life, fuck, you know, I fucked up. And never know if I fucked up or mm-hmm. not. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but... But I'll know. Hey, yeah, our videographer, I think, just rolled up. Oh no, that's not our videographer. That's our well, uh, that's our makeup you, artist. I'll tell you one thing, <laughs> Mark. What's yours? I mean, mine. You know, without I, it's hard for me because music. It's taught me lessons, but as far as like one takeaway I have from music is, I wouldn't have met any of you. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't. Oof. That's something you kind of forget. He, it is absolutely. You know? Music has taught me how to be social because sometimes I can be a real anti-social person. Mm-hmm. Like I've, <clears throat> I've done a lot of shit by myself for a lot of years, and then when I met like, you know, you and Rob and them, mm-hmm. it brought me out of this shell to where it's like you don't have to, you have to rely on yourself to a point. You know, and music taught me the biggest lesson that I've learned from music, honestly, is that I can rely on myself. Mm-hmm. I don't have to be hesitant about my decisions. And, f- you know, for that, it's it's hard because, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't have met a lot of people without yeah. this. Like yeah, we just definitely. had a part that party. All them people wouldn't have been there if I didn't do music. It's crazy because yeah. I remember Which when I crazy. met you yeah. when I met you and it was like. It was almost like Mark didn't really know how to socialize. No, the I didn't. The only thing me and Mark had to like <clears throat> connect on when we first met was the music. Yeah. yeah. Like if we didn't exactly. both make music, me and <laughs> the him basement would, jams, we would bro. not have been able to hit it off. No. Right. Like when me and Mark first met, our very first conversation, it's not, yo, where are you from? What do you do? It's, right. let's make a song. Which, okay, f- so for that, which is, what is crazy is because I've... I don't know if I've ever told you the the story, but um, uh, when I was in high school, I had a gym class, and Reed, which was the dude who did a lot of the videos, yeah. you know what I mean? Done all my videos, all my good ones. Yeah, he, Reed, <laughs> shout out to Reed, man. He's done a lot of, lot of cool shit, dude. 
Um, but what's crazy is I had saw him He's on YouTube. He's somewhere drinking a protein Reed shake Cipriani. right now. Reed Cipriani. Yes, he really Reed is. Reed Cipriani, wherever Reed you Cipriani. are, when you see this or hear this, man. We hope you're proud. You have, Reed you, has brought a lot have, of our like visions and he dreams has. to to, come, yeah. to life, man, and 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 taking our what we had, what we brought to the table as lyricists and 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 music artists to a whole nother level. And it's, yeah. it's crazy because he was in the gym class with me, which is like wild. I would do anything to see <laughs> that gym class. I'll be real. <laughs> you <laughs> you wouldn't have saw me, bro, because I was out that bitch every day. <laughs> <laughs> you were there for attendance and then you would dip. Dude, I don't even know if I made attendance really order, sometimes. Did you really order a pizza? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was cool because... I'll give uh, you money. When I met when I met Reed, I it was weird because um, I didn't even know that he did videos. And then for some reason, uh, Tyler had put out a song called uh, I want to say no, the Last Hope. Last in the Hope, alley. yeah. And I saw that video. I was a senior in high school, dude. And like I, the first impression, I don't care what anybody says. You fucking look like Mac. You look, <laughs> you look just like Mac Miller, bro. To this day, I don't you, fucking care. Dude, I had a Snapchat from Halloween two years yeah. ago. Or maybe it was this last year, and I panned across you, and somebody was like, "Holy fuck, is that Mac Miller?" Dude, for real. And I was you, like, "No, but you should dude, like him." R.I.P. Mac. R.I.P. Real. R.I.P. Miller. Mac. That's that my favorite a, artist of all time. Of all time. I mean, that's tough. He, I don't want to cut you off, Mark. Continue your story. That's yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, I saw the Last Hope, and I saw Cipriani Cinema, which is what he was using. Yeah. And I had. You know, ran through his channel, and I had he had seen I had seen this video, and it was of him, and I was like, "Holy fuck, I know this dude. This dude's in, in my your gym. gym. <laughs> like he's in my gym class. Like this is fucking wild." And yeah, dude, I just came up to him, and I was I asked it's him about crazy videos. How like the universe works because it's crazy. How, you guys how don't know everybody in your class. How it connect? <laughs> it connected me and Mark. Connected Mark and Reed first. And then the way it connected, because for the longest, I felt like it was an eternity that it was just me and Rob yeah. making music. Right. And then things really took off when I met Mark. Mark opened me up to a whole new world of music. Just a completely different vibe. Yeah. And then, What were you into then? You were, into the, you were into hip hop, like boom bap, right? I feel I like mean, when just... me and Rob were making music, we were terrible. Start the first couple years, <laughs> me and Mark, or no, did I say me and Rob or me and Mark? Me and Mark. Me and Rob, the first yeah. couple years, sorry, were terrible. And I feel like when I, even when I met Mark, it was like when I met Mark, that opened the door to the first time of like just recording music for the fuck of it. And it's not even going to come out. Yeah. Mark introduced me to like, you got 30 minutes? We can make a track in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. With Rob, it was like, Always. I need the whole day. Me and Rob were both perfectionists. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, Mark's music is amazing, but Mark's not a perfectionist. Back then, you were back then. No. Now we you're a little gun. bit more. You but were like, running a lot of shit back has changed, then, but yeah, back Mark then, was, I was like, like very... you got a verse. He doesn't care what it's about. Let's Hop lay on the it. Mic. That's what, yeah. Let's that's lay what it. I was like too. Yeah. It was like I, because I didn't. I knew I didn't have very good sound quality. Yeah. And so my my attack was like, give them good bars. Yeah. Doesn't matter what it fucking sounds like. If you're saying dope shit, they're gonna yeah. be like dope. That kid's yeah. got talent. Well, and for that kind of shit, that's where I tried to separate myself. Where it's like, when you hear a local artist's music, you immediately know that they're local. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest things is quality. Spot! Mark was just saying how... Uh when we were when we were starting out, Mark was in a so focused on quality. Me and Rob were one hundred percent quality. Yeah, we were so almost to like it being our downfall. We were so like it made the process slower. Me and Rob are both very uh, the mechanics, mm -hmm. technicalities, technicalities. Sound does it sound almost more like a producer's mindset? Yeah, does it sound fucking great? And I feel like meeting Mark was like. The perfect, the timing was perfect because Mark was like the first nice. dude I ever let's, met who let's was just like, get on there and fucking who spit. cares? Let's just capture, yeah, let's just yeah. capture the moment, mm -hmm. right? And I'll never forget, like, back then we were 
oh my gosh, it sounded so bad. I remember meeting Mark <laughs> and just hopping on the mic and just recording something. And I emailed it to Mark that night. And I was so shocked because I worked on that song, that one verse. Are you talking about Smoke and Spokes? Yeah. <laughs> I, re- I just remember I worked on it for like six hours and sent Mark literally just a rough edit of a verse and a hook. And I remember I sent it to Mark, and he replied. I think 30 minutes went by, and I texted him, and I was like, yo, I just sent you a track. Like, let me know when you have time. Like, I'll be back in the studio this week. This is week. both of you or just you? Just me and Mark. And I oh, I was like, yeah. yo, like, I just sent you it. Hit me up this yeah. week. And he literally replied, check your inbox. It's already back. <laughs> and I was like, uh, my mind was blown. I was like, what do you mean it's already back? Like, you already recorded a verse, like, wrote and recorded a verse. Done. And it was already back. And me and Rob were still together, and we were, like, blown away. Did you turn the camera on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, and I remember me and, me and Rob, like, pulled it up, and we played it, and we were, like, just like his <laughs> swag. Was, me and Rob were both like this. We looked at each other. It was tight. We tried recording That's with exactly other. That's exactly what I did, bro. We tried like, recording with other people. Yeah. And it just is like it just felt the, like so whack. Like the first time I heard Mark, he gave me the stank face. Like when you hear a like when you hear a dirty beat, and you're just like. <laughs> it just felt. That's like, what it did it to me. Felt like a collab all the other times with Mark. It just felt like. <laughs> just was natural and I, I looked at Rob and I was like dude this this is dope like, we, we gotta like we gotta like just link up with him and I, yeah. I don't know how long it was after that I don't know if you remember but I feel it was, like it was pretty quick it after was quick that. I like hit up Mark and I was like dude like we should well, just link that, up that's what I was saying like that's what was crazy is cause you were recording on Garage Band. Yeah, back like then. these motherfuckers were on Pro Tools, and I, you know they you did your didn't know they how did, to use You it. did that we verse did. on Garage Band, and they was Garage like, Band oh, yeah, boy. I know how to use it? Because like, dude, we're young, we're stupid. We were like, we have, we're like, we have Pro Tools. We're we have Pro sick. Tools, man. And we got it. I shut that and shit down. We went over to Mark's to record, <laughs> and he had Garage Band, and he was on some like Mark was literally record like. Hold on. This is crazy. This is bringing back memories. When me and Rob were recording, it would be just me and Rob. And when I would go in the booth, I would be like, Rob, I'm going in. Like, be quiet. I would be like, don't do anything. Like, don't even breathe. And with Mark, we like roll over to Mark's. And there was like, there was like four kids like smoking in the basement. And Mark would just pull the mic up and he'd just be like, he would literally not even tell people to be quiet. He would just be like, all right, here we go. Ready? And he would just go in and there are just kids in the background talking, smoking, like <laughs> laughing. And I remember I was just like so blown away that Mark was just like, he was so just about, loose about with capturing, it. like just capturing the moment. Yeah. Like that who, energy's who gives important, a man. shit if there's like kids in the background talking, like yeah. Yeah. a lighter going off because they're sparking. Like, I remember I was so blown away. I was just like. This is so crazy. <laughs> this kid does not like care at all. And then like we were the first song we recorded over there, I Basement Jam dove in a little too hard, I think. And I was like, before I was even going in on my verse, I just like I remember like the intro going in on the verse. I was like, Yo, Rob's in the back room. He's like, he's hanging out with some chick. He Me was. and Mark out here recording. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> but like I just remember like I fell in love with the like the on spont- the fly, the it wasn't a freestyle, but it was like just spontaneous. I mean, in a way, yeah, it Whatever's was freestyle on, yeah. in a way. You yeah, know? I mean, and when those worlds collided, it it was like a masterpiece. Yeah, yeah, you had the yin yang effect because I think we taught Mark things that he didn't think about. Uh-huh. Yeah, but like Mark taught me and Rob a lot. Yeah, and when the second because me and Rob recorded together all the time, nonstop, yeah. and the second. I was with Mark. Mark kind of taught me this, like, record, edit in five minutes. The song's done. Mm -hmm. With Rob, it was like me and Rob would both edit, and we would chop up between every lyric, cut out all the dead air, fade everything in and out. We would literally mix our songs for, like, days, and the songs were terrible. But with Mark, it was like... He just did it. Mark was was like, dude, let's just record, and Mark would just throw an EQ, a compressor... 
Boom. Like preset. He wouldn't even change them. They were yeah. the same presets yeah. from like songs like from months ago. The copy yeah. and paste game is unreal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just that. fell in love with like <laughs> shitting out songs. Yeah. And then I think what's crazy is like starting out with Mark, I was the slow one and Mark was the fast one. Yeah. A couple real like fast forward a year, it got to a point where like I went through like a really hard breakup. And like music became my life. Yeah. Right. And I remember like literally blowing up Mark, like, let me come over and record. Let me come record. Let me yeah. record. Like Mark was like sick of me. Literally like, <laughs> bro, like I used to, I, need a I used day. to feel that way too. When <laughs> I recorded a lot with you guys and I'd always be like, yo, can you yo, I need because <laughs> their like studio was, was at like, Mark's. Yeah, it's and hard, making man. him do, do Mark a bunch like of work. just met his girl. Yeah. Mark just met his fiance and Mark was like in love. And I was like, right off the bat, I dude. like just figured out this whole new world of like, we can knock out like three songs in a day. Yeah. And Mark's like, like I'm trying to spend time with my lady. <laughs> yo. And I remember like blowing up Mark, like, dude, we can drop a mixtape in a week. <laughs> <laughs> Which we've done. We like started the palace shit. Yeah. yeah. We were, it was me, Mark and Rob to start. And then it became, then we met. Yo, yeah, yep. which was like a, a I'll dope. Never, I'll never forget that night. That the Moxie, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll never forget that night because I'd never seen anything like you guys. I'd never, I'd never seen any, any. I'd never seen anything as right. far as like live hip hop performance went. And you guys were the first ones up, and you were so coordinated, <laughs> and you each had a verse. That was and our we first didn't show. Know shit, that was our dude. first show. Yeah, we didn't know shit. You were so coordinated. Like, to me, you were so coordinated, and you had these different verses and this just, like, raw, old-school boom-bap sound. And I was like, these guys are going to win. That's, that's literally what I What's said to myself. What's crazy is, though? That's literally what I said we to didn't, myself. I didn't think, back then, all I thought about performing live was, like, the music. Yeah, I didn't know anything about like holding the microphone. Yeah. I didn't know anything about crowd control, mm -hmm. like the flow of a set. I remember, like we we were just strictly relying on like the music. And, exactly. And Yo went up there. We didn't even know who we hadn't. We didn't know anybody. That was. Performing. I thought your name was Yo. And <laughs> I literally <laughs> thought your name was Yo. Yo went up on stage <laughs> and his energy. It was unreal. The entire dude. crowd just unreal. woke up when when Wild went on stage. Like we thought we had it in the bag. It was I like thought a, you guys had it, it in the contest. fucking bag. Dude. It was a I, contest. Yeah, it was crazy. So it was a bunch of different openers competing for a spot on like some show on a yeah. bigger show to open for that headliner. Yeah, and yeah. the people would the people in the audience would write who they want at the end of the show would write who they wanted and it to was, win. It was right. three of and us. Whoever got the most was, votes won. Yeah, and me, Mark, and Rob all performed together. And they were first up. You and we were, were first. so cocky. We like we thought we had it in the I bag. Thought, I thought you guys had it in the fucking bag. It was our bag. first time on stage. I wore a bucket hat. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I remember we were just drinking. I thought we had it. We were each like 18 years old. And we were drinking the entire way yep. to the venue. And we were smashed. <laughs> this was like early. Oh, and shit. we got on stage. We did our thing. We thought we had it in the bag. Everybody else was like predictable. Yeah. And 100%. Alfred went up there. And we were like, who's this little fireball? Dude, he came out of nowhere. <laughs> and this I motherfucker's remember, jumping around like saw, all wild. We watched his set. He got the crowd into it. And we were all peeing in the bathroom. And he came in. I remember Alf I have it on video. <laughs> Alfred came into the bathroom. And we all just like clicked. Mm -hmm. And it literally, first night we met this kid, boom. We That's were it. all on Palace together. Yeah. Yep. Which was like a powerhouse. That's oh god! It really was, man. Palace. It sucks now because I wish we had what we had then. Now, because the way the world is, bro, that platform and that we I, had would this. be so good. Like, but I'm we gonna just say this. I think that I think that us four, like as a group, or even just like collectively. I mean, I, I don't want to. I don't want to sound stupid or anything, but it's 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 so much talent. And and people don't realize it's so slept on, and I, I I'm not even just speaking about myself, but you three as well. I just wish that I could explain it in a way that wouldn't sound douchey. <laughs> you know what I mean? It could but be I, all in our own heads, but, I, but who cares? Yeah, exactly. It was it was like magical to me. Yeah, 
dude, and, and, and I that's care what I was less saying what about any, making music yeah. for yourself. And like dude, you said, it's like powerful like I, to you, that's what matters. You guys went first, and I went last, and I stood there the entire time. Well, I watched everybody because I was so nervous about going last. And I, from the start to the to, to when I to the end, I I knew you guys were gonna win. I knew it, and I watched everybody else. I was like, nope, not not better than the first. Second guys, nope, not better than those other three guys. Nope, not better. I thought you guys were going to win, for sure. <laughs> and that's what's crazy. And then, yeah, and I remember... And, come, I and remember everybody's the, listening, Y.O. won. Y.O. won. He did. And, and like, what's... It's just crazy because when we all linked up, I don't even remember the first time we all actually, like, hung out. But, right. like, all I know is... Things happened yeah. months later, and it was like all of our dream to be like doing that part of a label.